is in the snake box here, which utilizes the movements and the internal strength of the snake. Uh, also, I am uh, well, I say, adept or adjusted, as you may call, to the Tibetan Bonpo martial arts and internal development. And the Tibetan skill they call Lung Gung. Uh, we are not the religious uh, Buddhism like the Dalai Lama sect, the Yellow Head sect. We're the red or a black head sect which specializes in more relating with nature. To absorb the element of thunder and lightning within the practitioner and be able to manifest it out to the eye in a sense with healing. And also martial arts. Uh, the Tibetan burning palm is that which I demonstrate on David's back, who's a student of mine. Uh, this can be used for both healing, but also can be used in a bad sense, depending on your intent. As far as, like, the art is concerned, it's, it's from Tibet. And how old, how old is this art? I mean, where, how back far does it go? Uh, that depends what particular you're asking upon. All art came from India. group has their own variation. Example, the Ban Po are pre-Buddhist. They were the, I say, shamanic view of the Buddhists. Now, uh, the Yellowhead sect of Tibetan Buddhism, as now for the Dalai Lama sect, deal more the religious matter. The bardo uh, pertain the spiritual path. In our art, we were pre-Buddhist. Uh, deal more, I say, the followers of the, how do you say, uh, advisors of Kuba and Genghis Khan in the old past. They didn't follow the religious value. They were more toward the, you call it the, the mysteries of the, the universe, the, the hidden laws of nature. And so by practicing their shamanic skill, uh, they developed uh, a very deep understanding of nature and its 